on. You gotta miss that. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's a really great time. Vancouverites donned their costumes this weekend for Mega Comic Con. According to the Comic Con organizers, the event was a success. Still, they say Vancouver is only beginning to figure out what it wants from its Comic Con. I think Vancouver is still under an education process as to what the Comic Con is and how it's, it's done in different cities. Uh, I mean, it's a major event that happens in every city, but every city also does its own take on it. Comic Cons aren't just about comic books. It's also an opportunity for local artists and vendors to show off their work. And uh, we do also a lot of sculpture teaching classes and things like that, uh, working with students in the city. You know, we try to train people to be very creative, and uh, this is a way that we can kind of show that off. Artists aren't the only ones that get to strut their stuff at Comic-Con. Vancouver's Sword Fighting Academy was there as well. So this is an opportunity for people who've been reading about it and watching it in films and that kind of stuff to actually be able to pick up a sword and see how complex and how interesting actual sword play is. Even the hardcore comic book dealers were impressed by the turnout. Uh, I really didn't have any expectation, but it more than met my expectation. And I think most people I've talked to have been pretty happy and I think they'll be back. While this is the first ever mega Comic Con, comic books are gaining traction in Vancouver. In fact, there was a fan expo this summer. Judging from this weekend's success, there will be plenty more to come. Dean Brookstone in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.